Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've got a new look. And by the title, I'm sure you guys know that this is an Amazon wig try on. This is literally like my favorite one. So I thought I'd do my intro with it. So <laughs> I'm gonna chat you guys through it all. You will see my alien self now in a little bit where I chat to you about the process of ordering on Amazon, how I found it shipping to Cape Town, South Africa, and kind of the reason why I wanted to try on some wigs and buy some of this baby. So yeah, do continue watching and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel below because you are here, you might as well subscribe and comment below to let me know once you are done with this video which hair you think suits me best and which hair you're keen to kind of test out and maybe order on Amazon yourself. Anyway, let me know if you like these kind of videos and I might actually go and buy some more wigs to try out. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit of a like a introduction into why I ended up ordering these wigs was because I actually saw a lot of international beauty content creators have lots of different color wigs so some of my favorites are kristen hatcher i think her surname is but she just wears wigs all the time and then she's not a really a beauty content creator but she just looks amazing with wigs and then um another one is it's my day day i love how she like matches her makeup to her wigs and then there's also hayley barber yes Hailey Barber. So she, like, I've been following her for, so I've been following Hailey Barber for years. She has literally been one of, like, my hair inspo girls. She goes from, like, pink to orange to blue to, like, yellow. It's, like, amazing. Um, and I was just, like, I've always just looked at it in awe and I've always just been, like, wow, it would be really fun to have different color hair, to have wigs, to play around with it. And... Strangely enough, a lot of like South African wig stores have recently been popping up. So obviously we've spotted it. Like I'm sure you've seen some of like your local um, influencers. Like I'm sure I saw like Nadia Jafta. She wore some like wigs on her Instagram. Like Rishana, my babe, she's been rocking some cool wigs. Everyone's just been having fun with it and like I'm loving it and I feel like it's such a fun way to change up your look It's such a fun way to kind of just play around to also like protect your hair because you know us natural girls like Sometimes we want nice straight hair, but we don't want to straighten it, you know, but we want to have it So today's video I thought that I would actually take you guys through my wigs that I ended up getting getting from Amazon um, and then also just chat through like my experience with ordering from Amazon I know a lot of my South African babes are but like is it thing to order like are you actually gonna get your stuff like how long does it take so let's chat through my whole experience okay so before I actually end up starting to try on my wigs I feel like I'm just looking like an alien as you can see I'm not meant to be bold I look odd let me just also chat to you guys about the process of me getting to this point as you can see my head looks quite nice and small you're like how did all my curls fit into this like it doesn't look like bulky there's no bulges literally let me just lift this up so you guys can see all of the effort that went into this this literally it goes all the way up let me just insert this little video to show you all the process that i went through And that's basically what I did in order to get my hair looking flat. I'm not going to obviously do that every single time. I'm probably going to like swirl coast it like my, my colored girls. You know what a swirl coast is. <laughs> you know how to do it. You know how to roll it. My mom used to like sleep with a swirl coast every night. So we out here. We knowing the things. For this video, I wanted to have it like as tight to my scalp as possible. So it can look as real as possible. So there's no abnormal bulges. There's no weird stuff. Anyway. Let's go to the process. So I ordered from Amazon. I ordered four wigs. Total of my order came to 4046 cents. Yes, guys, steep. I was literally like, Ugh. but then I also thought about it and I was like, I'm getting four whole wigs. If I buy from one of these South African um, stores, like they're all like trying to make some profit. I get it. But I, I'm a broke bitch. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a cheapie. So I wanted to save as much as I could. And like 
I got four wigs for the price that you'd be paying for like two of them. I'm not sure what they charge, but I think they charge around 2,000, 3,000 for one of these lace front kind of a synthetic-ish. It's not, I don't know how to, yeah, I just say lace front, not real human hair. But those hair, they charge around 2.5 to 3K, I think. Um, maybe this cheaper, I don't know. I haven't found out all the prices from all of the local Instagram accounts selling them. But I just worked it out and for me, it would be cheaper to order directly from Amazon. It took a big risk because if this order did not come, I would have lost 4,000 Rand, which is a lot of money. We're still out here hustling, like, it ain't small change for me, but... We out, yeah. I ordered my goodies on the 16th of June. Got an email to say that it shipped out on the 19th of June. It's quite fast. Then it arrived on the 1st of July, which is amazing. That means that it took me 12 days. Well, it took them 12 days to get to me. They used Aramix Global, you know, Global Courier, whatever. And I got my stuff all in one box all in one piece as you can see i opened it up because i was not patient enough to wait oh by the way the 4046 rand let me just break break it down for you guys they're just saying your yeah, total before tax is 262.90 import fees deposit was 64.72 dollars so yeah they worked it out nicely for um when i placed the order like they were like how much customs is going to be cool thing about this is that um they give you a customs amount and then if from what I read and from what I understand, please correct me if I'm wrong, but they said that if your customs exceed the amount that they give you, then Aramex covers it. If it's under, then I think they refund you the the amount that it's under by. Not fully sure, but I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna say yeah, so um but yeah, that's 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 kind of what, what happened. So let me try on my first wig. So there's this brand from on Aramix that I bought from called Christma. Christma? And Christmas wig. Okay, so it did come with a wig cap. So Christmas wig comes with a wig cap. I got this wig cap from one of the other wigs. I just opened it up and then I used that one. But normally they should come with a wig cap. Woo! Here's my hair. I'm gonna hold it like my child. I'm gonna rock it, baby. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, babes, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. <sighs> Who else is excited for the Lion King like me? Anyway, let me just not knot it. I know that with synthetic kind of hair, it like, gets knotty really quickly. So I'm going to just be like really gentle. So this is the first hair from Charisma. This kind of looks like my actual color. Okay. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this is how it looks on me with the lace still on. I'm literally going to be cutting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the middle over here and then just around the hairline. I'm going to do it off my head and not on my head so I don't cut myself because I'm this clumsy. So let me quickly just... I'm so excited. Like it looks so nice. Like it doesn't look shiny like I thought it was going to look. Anyway, so this is how this wig looks. I just took... Like I cut out some um, baby hairs to... Kind of like make it like shorter pieces of hair and some baby hairs to make it look more realistic. It's not actually glued down to my wig cap yet. Um, added some concealer down the center to make it look like my scalp. And voila, this is wig number one. It's really long, I'm probably gonna cut it, but yeah, it gets quite knotty though. Like I can feel that... This is going to be a bit of a mission. Like, I feel like it's probably going to get really tangled. So I'm going to have to really take care of it. I'm going to try and get myself, like, a wig head to buy. So that this can, like, be on there. But I feel like Hannah Montana, you know. You get the best of both worlds. <laughs> but yeah, guys. This is so fun. This is so fun. I feel so pretty. Let's move on to the next one. I always wanted to be like, my wig was snatched. <laughs> wow, guys. Ugh. So I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Like, you, it took me a while. Like, I'm busy out here, like, <laughs> trying to make baby hairs. Like, trying to position it on my head. You can see I'm an amateur at this. But anyway, next up is the gray, the gray wig that I got. So, you know, we all... Once upon a time, wanted to live out our Kim Kardashian grey hair life, but you know, we all didn't want to go through 
all the bleach that that requires right so this one is from the best for you at jerosihair.com so i wanted a curly wig like that was like on my list i was like i want a curly wig i'm a curly girl and there's already baby hairs on this one how nice like they did it for me thank you guys you so nice to do this um let me just pop it on and see see what what up what up wig let's see what up this one feels a little bit tight Woo! let me just think thin head oh i'm thinking thin head thoughts i'm thinking thin head thoughts okay babe so i cut off the lace and this is the second wig that i bought oh my god <laughs> i am mad about this one Woo! Like there's a lot of hair though, like a lot of hair. It's not like I'm not used to a lot of hair. Like I have curls. I know that curls is a lot. The volume is a lot. But I'm just like, oh, wow, this is a lot. It is long though, like it's long. <laughs> so I know like it looks a bit fake, but I am complaining. Like I'm enjoying this wig. Obviously, I'm gonna do this again. This is just for the video. None of this is glued on. I would glue it when I'm wearing it out. I'd cut a little bit more baby hairs. Just that it looks like, you know, a bit more. But like... <sighs> I need to get me more. There's so many different colors. I need to get me one in each color. Because, you know... This is more me. I'm the curly girl. So, this just works. This just works. I actually, like... Let me just take a selfie. Because, flip. I'm so happy about this one like you know sometimes you make good purchases in life and this one was definitely a good purchase so what do you guys think you need to rate this please comment down below which wig you think suits me the best ah, I'm just feeling myself in this one yes honey okay next <laughs> so up next is my red hair so this red hair is also from Charisma, like the first hair, the blonde hair that I had, and what's well, not red? Sorry, what am I saying? I'm like colorblind. Pink hair, my bad, my bad. I think I'm liking curly hair wigs more though, so I'm definitely gonna be getting me a couple more curly hair wigs. It definitely suits me. I think I'm just used to my own curls so much more than straight hair these days, so I think that's also why I think I prefer the curly hair wig. Um, but it was a bit difficult to find like pink curly to be honest so i just went for this kind of like a wave a wave kind of a wig but like i did before i'm just gonna quickly go and cut it cut it like i did before so this is the pink wig i just like cut this shorter because obviously these are all like one length so i cut this just so it looks a bit more like realistic then i just tied this up a little bit because it just looked cute it's pink and i was like how cute would it be in pigtails um and i'm really loving it like obviously guys like i didn't expect this to look like hella real it's pink like you know what are you expecting like i do kind of look like an anime character i'm not gonna lie but i ain't i ain't hating it I'm enjoying it. I think when it wasn't like cut and stuff, I was like, Ugh, it don't look so great. But I'm kind of really liking this, hey? I'm feeling it. And this one is from Charisma. I think Charisma on Amazon actually stocks really good quality wigs. They do kind of look a bit shiny. Um, they say in order to actually stop like these kind of synthetic um, hair from kind of getting knotty and stuff you must use like a white tooth comb and you must get some like detangling spray when then you like brush from the bottom upwards so that's what i'm gonna do because i heard some things about these kind of wigs um getting really knotty and stuff but other than that i'm super happy with it and let's move along to my fourth and final wig it's another blonde wig it's just to be honest it looked kind of very similar to the other one but in the picture, it was more of like a yellower blonde, but we'll see. Let me just take off this baby. Wow. Sure, guys, this is wild. Like, I need to actually get me some, like, heads. I can't be putting it on the bed like I currently am, because this ain't, this ain't gonna work. But anyway, 
I'm so sad that it's coming to an end. I need to buy me more. I'm like addicted now. I think it's so, so like fun. I feel like it's so much fun. So this is the first one that I tried on. And this is the second one. Slight difference, not that much of a difference. Same length. But obviously this is a whiter blonde and this is a more yellow blonde. So okay. That's kind of what I was thinking it's going to be like. So I met. This one feels really nice. So soft. Ooh, I just keep on loving to feel these things. This kind of actually looks more like my hair color than the other one. I thought that the other one looked like my hair color, but it was actually more platinum. So let's just cut it like we did all the others. I'm not going to glue it down like I did with all the others. And then I'm just going to plop it on my head. Okay, guys, so this is the final wig of mine i think this one probably looks the most wiggy but it feels the least wiggy which is kind of weird and contradictory but why it looks the most wiggy is because i probably am gonna have to get like a darker brown concealer um because this rooting is just looking really fake for me um and also because this wig is a bit bigger than the others so it's not as snug on my head so i definitely need to glue it down which i tried and failed to do <laughs> still need to get my head around that one like i'm still learning guys overall i think it's really nice i think that i just need to do the things with the root and the actual sticking down of the hair so i'm going to show you guys how this hair looks with this cap on so much better oh my god so much better <gasps> this is the one like oh my god okay oh my god ah <laughs> Sure. I should just become a wig, a wig chaya on a wig connoisseur. Ooh, just quick hat change. Um, <laughs> how cute does this look with this hat? Like, this is adorable. Super adorable. Okay, guys. So that was it from me. I absolutely loved loved trying out all of these wigs it was super super fun i don't regret a single purchase of mine i love all of them but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you kind of like saw something you liked and let me know your thoughts in the comments below okay guys see you in the next one bye